Good morning family and welcome back to Chris RD channel and today we are going to review the Yamaha P515 digital piano right Yamaha P515 digital piano we are going to use English as a medium because um, of our international viewers shout out to all of you and comment down below wherever you are part of the world you are and please don't forget to comment on um, to subscribe like and share to this channel thank you Okay, so we are now going to review the Yamaha P515 after 3 months of using. So first of all, um, I'm so happy with this Yamaha P515, this natural wood touch. First of all, we go to the Teclados. Mm -hmm. And this is the, uh, the, the Yamaha P515, they feature a wood, really. When you touch the keys, you, really, you will really feel the wood. Um, the black is uh, really wood, but the white one... Is a, this is also wood, but with a like semi. This is a plastic um, feeling, but you know it is so important that the keys are wood because when you touch, when you are a piano oriented um, keyboardist, the feeling of the wood in the hand is so smooth. Okay, and it's very it's someone you call it's um, safe in your hand to play the keys, and it's not. Um, uh, you, you have a different feeling in your here in your fingertips here you will have a different thing uh, feeling upon playing the keys upon playing the wood keys uh, as for in comparison with the Roland RD800 or some other um, weighted keys that are using plastic as their keys the feeling here is different well when you play here the keys are uh, wood and you will have uh, more you will be encouraged more to play the piano all right to play more longer but um i have just a uh, um honest opinion with the, this wood it's just a little bit more harder well of course if you play the yamaha grand piano it's a really a bit harder and the feeling when i touch the keys here in the yamaha p515 the it's just it's like a feeling of when you're playing an upright piano or a grand piano. That's the feeling. That's the weighted. That's how I feel the weight. Because when I play the Yamaha grand piano, this is the same weight that I am feeling. Maybe I like by 80%. But when you play like the Yamaha upright piano, it's just the same. The same feeling. So, and also, um, here this is, uh, this is really wood. This one is wood, this is plastic, and this is wood. And it's so encouraging to play because there is a touch of wood. It's not all metallic. So there is some, um, a little bit of organic. So this piano is 50% uh, organic and 50% plastic. So I think this is um, combination. This is plastic. And this is wood, this is plastic. They have a good uh, speaker. Here, like, see? The stereo speaker. And my favorite... Uh, part here is the Bosin Dofer. So here, this is very friendly. The feature of here, you will see here, um, the bottoms are very friendly. I like the Roland, they are having that uh, 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 turning knobs, which is a little bit problematic when you go to, when you travel your piano, it will be maybe distracted. Well, here, this Yamaha P515, you, when you travel this piano um, this will be more safe because the bottoms are flat so there is a, mini, a very minimal risk of damaging the knobs because it is flat all right so here in the piano my favorite one is the Bosendofer. the yamaha cfx grand is i'm not fan of using the yamaha cfx grand of uh, p515 because the sound is not the same as my cfx from my Nua in native instrument so here but the Boston Doffer, if you are playing a piece that is um, uh, more of a dark, uh, like you want a dark sound kind of piano, you will use Boston Doffer. But if you want to want um, but make it more bright, you will see use the CFX Grand Piano. But I am a little bit, um, I don't like the high pitch of this one because, but you can adjust the brightness of this one by going to the piano room. And go to your uh, this one the brightness you can adjust but it is default in five but if you will play the uh, Yamaha CFX Grand you have to put it in two so that it will be not um, painful in the ear but if you will use this this one Bosin Doffer I, I will like I'm fond of using it with uh, brightness of five and touch hard of 
two. I don't use touch heart of one. It's not that expressive. If you want to be more expressive with your feelings, you have to use hard two. All right. And the good thing about this Yamaha P515 is that um, when you use this function, you can connect your mobile phone to the keyboard itself. And the sound from your phone will be going to the uh, to, to your uh, speaker. So whatever, so for example, you are learning a piece, so you can use this speaker as your um, speaker, the speaker of the keyboard, you can use that as a speaker of your phone. So no need to connect a wire from your phone to the piano. So I will not use do that because I, I'm using a phone. But anyways, you have to go to the function and find press again the function until you go to this uh, Bluetooth sign. So when you press the function, it is moving this fun the uh, the scroll. You have to go to the Bluetooth and uh, this one it says here turn right. So press the right button to go to your Bluetooth function and Bluetooth is on. If you want to take it off, you have to go. Oh, so it's off. But you have so just press it on. Then so Bluetooth again. Um, so if you have to make it on when you make it on then you start pair pairing so press the pairing then when you press it the right side if you it will pair with your phone so anyways it's already paired with my phone because I already use it so that's the good thing about it you will see also here at the side of the Yamaha 515 there is a glassy like um, grand piano touch like a grand piano color no glossy grand piano together see this is a piano chair of mine right and this is it and see this one this, this piano chair of mine with the uh, same with the grand piano black color which is so it's, it's nice so it's like organic so when you see at the back of the yamaha p515 this is the power you can put here some the three pedals and here you can put also the uh, you can connect this one to your USB to your computer and this your pedal and MIDI in MIDI out and some knobs some jacks here that you can just uh, put you can you also have here an input here this is an input where you can put a wire from your phone to your computer to your keyboard so that the so that the sound will go into your um this one to your yamaha piano well the good thing also of in the yamaha is that your computer you can use your the sound of your if you want your example if you're using logic pro and you want your vst sound to go to your yamaha b515 well it is very possible so if you have this vst this is logic pro i would like to use because the sound the pads of the Yamaha P515 is not that good. I don't like the pads. Sample here, if you see the strings, uh, the light pad, see? See this one? If you press this one, the Yamaha, the piano, together, so you will have a, you can have a piano and a pad. And you cannot control the, that's the, I know, see? That is the, you cannot control the volume of the pad. And if you press the pedal right here, you're pressing the pedal, but the pad pad sounds vanished, right? If you press the dual split uh, consecutively, uh, for three consecutively, it's one, two, three. So you will have three here. The dark and acoustic piano. If you press one, then it will disappear. But if you press it like one two, you will have a studio uh, uh, like a, a two sound, all right. But if you press one two three, you will have three sound. Pro, if you want to use uh, pads from Logic Pro, well, Logic Pro has a great pads like ambient air, airways. Anyways, if you want this to use this sound and control the sound of the pads, you can, uh, and the sound output will go to your. Yamaha P515. You don't need a plug or a jack to connect to your out input in your Yamaha P515. You just have to, as long as your Yamaha P515 is connected via the USB here, 
from the Yamaha 515 to USB to your computer, you can use the VST of the Logic Pro to your as an output to your P515. How? You just have to go to the Logic Pro. Under Logic Pro, you have here Preferences. Then Preferences, you have Audio. Then at here, Output Device. You click the Output Device. And the Logic Pro is reading your Yamaha P515 as Digital Piano. You press a Digital Piano. Then Apply. Alright? Then it's already applied. Then for example, I will use this one, the Airways. Since the pads of Yamaha P515 is not controllable in the Dual, here you can control the sounds of your pads. For example, let's uh, let's try it. Okay, let's try it. The Yamaha, the Airways pads of Logic Pro to your uh, Yamaha. So you hear the pads, right? Can increase and when I press still pressing the pedal the pads is sustained and like if you use the pads of the this one the Yamaha see the pads when you press the pedal release the pads of the Yamaha is gone alright but if you use only the pads from the Logic Pro it is sustained okay so the voice from your Logic Pro, you can use it with your Yamaha P515. And if you press the pedal, it's working. But if you, but if you, as I said a while ago, if you use the pads of the Yamaha P515 together with the piano, if you pre press it with the piano, and you use the pads, this is the pads of the Yamaha, and it's not sustaining when you release the hands. Unlike if the if you use the pads of the if you use the pads of the Logic Pro when you press it the pedal it's sustaining. But you can also increase the volume and decrease the volume of your pads from Logic Pro. You can also decrease it. If you're using the airways, you have to be very careful with the sound, not to overpower the piano. So it will just have to support the piano. Favorite sound for pads in here for Logic Pro, if you're for like more warm, is I'm using the calming waves. The calming waves as my uh, pads. So let's uh, try the Bosendorfer plus calming waves.
also of using this uh, this one, this uh, session strings two from native instrument as my strings to Yamaha P515. So I will use this as my strings to my piano. Okay, so let's try the session strings two with Boston Doffer and yeah. Why I use that one? Because if you use the strings of the piano, Yamaha P515, it's it, it 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 will cut. It will cut here. For example, if you're using the so slow strings, press it. Even you're pressing the pedal, it's not working. You have to press long. Uh, press long the key so that the strings and the P515 will sustain. But if you use your Yamaha uh, Logic Pro, it will sustain. So just use the Logic Pro. So that's the <laughs> that's the Yamaha P515, and of course, um, I really enjoyed it. Really, I really enjoyed the Yamaha P515. So this Yamaha P515, if you are piano oriented one, if you are piano oriented, this is good for you. But if you are a keyboard oriented, like you play more of the sequencer, this is not for you. If you are a piano oriented, you want a, a good um, weighted keys with a wood type piano feeling in your fingers that you can play more and encourage more to play this is good for you and this doesn't have a wheel see it doesn't have a wheel so it means because it identifies that you are you will play this because you're a pianist or you're a keyboardist but, but you're a keyboardist but your orientation is piano so this is will suit for you very well and you will really love this one Yamaha has a good reputation of longevity when it comes to its hardware and it's a good cost for your money. In the Philippines, I think the price now is 100,000 pesos, more than 100,000 pesos. But if you buy it here in the Middle East, it will just cost you like 60, uh, 55,000 pesos or 60,000 pesos. There is a lesser version of this like the Yamaha P215, P which is... um. The the difference that of that one is the keys is a uh, plastic, but the speaker I believe is just the same. But the Yamaha P125, the keys is plastic and it's different, really is different, and the speaker is more small. But if you connect it to your power source or headsets, it will just have the same sounds of Bosendorfer and CFX. So, but I will recommend to to buy this one Yamaha P515 because. 
you know, you will progress more as a keyboardist. You will progress. You will, if you buy a keyboard which just has a lesser, uh, lesser specs, and by the time that you progress, you will buy again another piano. Because I believe that if you have a good instrument, good, yeah, good keyboard, um, as you progress, you know, you can progress more. You can progress more. And you will not be stuck in uh, skills like, in that kind of skills. Right. Okay, God bless you and thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you subscribe, like, and share to this channel. And thank you very much for watching this video until this hour. <laughs> God bless you.